here at Kensington Metro Park Nature Center. Welcome to Science with the Metro Parks, where I'll show you short and easy science experiments that you can do at home with items you find around your house or in your pantry. Today on Science with the Metro Parks, I'm going to show you how you can blow up a balloon using science. Now, before we get started, please be sure that you have parent supervision in order to conduct the science experiment in your own home. Okay, ready? Let's go ahead and get started. Now to get started, we need to make sure that we have all of our materials. And these are the materials that we will need. We'll need some vinegar, a measuring cup, a funnel, food coloring, three clear containers. You wouldn't use a plastic water bottle or any clear container that you might have around the house. Um, plastic water bottles work well though. Baking soda, a tablespoon, a tray or a baking sheet, three balloons, gloves, those are optional if you don't wanna to get too messy, a table and a plastic tablecloth. Sometimes signs can get a little bit messy, so be sure that when doing science experiments, you are using a space that is okay to get a little bit messy and putting some precautions in place like a plastic tablecloth to be sure to help to uh, contain the mess a little bit. Now that we have all of our ingredients ready to go, our material is set. Let's start experimenting. Step one, using your funnel or a measuring cup, you wanna fill up each of your plastic containers with half a cup of vinegar. In this experiment, vinegar is our constant variable. That means it's the variable that stays the same throughout the entire experiment. So we are putting a half a cup of vinegar in each container. It's okay, that's why we have our uh, materials in place on a plastic tablecloth, right? Now we're gonna put a little bit of food coloring in each container. Make it a little bit more fun here. I'm using red, blue, and green. And in step three, we're gonna set these to the side so that we can fill up our balloons. So now it's time to fill up our balloons. If you're using a funnel, the same one that you use to fill up your um, vinegar with, you wanna be sure that you rinse it off first. So we are gonna fill up our first balloon, put your funnel in the balloon, and we're gonna fill it up with one tablespoon of baking soda. Let it go down there. And then we're gonna take our second balloon, put the funnel in there, and we're gonna fill it up with two tablespoons of baking soda. There's one. Whoops, see, making a little science mess here. And the third one here. Now, in this experiment, our independent variable, or the variable that changes, is the baking soda. So you can see we start with one tablespoon, then we have two tablespoons, and then we have three tablespoons. So we're changing the amount of baking soda that we have in each reaction. Now for step five, we are going to attach our balloons onto our baking sodas. You wanna be sure that you don't get any of the baking soda that you have in your balloon into your container just yet. And you wanna make sure that you kind of have them lined up so that you know which one is which. So I know that in my red balloon, I have one tablespoon, blue, I have two, and in my green one, I have three. So step six, is to flip them over and let the reaction start. Woohoo! look at that. Which one do you think is gonna make the balloon fill up the most? Let's talk a bit about what's happening here. This is our step seven, we get to watch. When vinegar and baking soda are combined, a chemical reaction occurs. A chemical reaction is when two or more materials are combined and they form a new material. In this case, when baking soda and vinegar are combined, they form carbon dioxide gas. The gas has to escape somewhere, so you know it's gonna go out the top of the container, and the only place it has to go into is the balloon, and so it blows up the balloon, filling up the balloon. Keep watching the balloons blow up, and, and we can kind of figure out through our experiment which one is the one that is, is going to blow up the most. Now, Step eight is time to play. So you can use this in a bunch of 
different ways this experiment. You can uh, change the amount of vinegar you use and keep the baking soda the same. You can do different types of or different amounts of baking soda again. Uh, you can mix up the variables with the baking soda and vinegar in a million different ways to try to do this experiment again. And I hope that you do. You can keep on experimenting until you run out of supplies or your experimenting time is up. It looks like in the case of this experiment, it looks like two tablespoons of baking soda to a half a cup of vinegar blew up the balloon the most. Pretty cool, huh? All right, so your last step is to clean up, right? If you make a science mess, you always wanna make sure that you clean up that science mess. So that's what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna go ahead and get my science mess cleaned up. Maybe play with a little bit of vinegar and baking soda again. Thank you so much for tuning into Science with the Metro Parks today. All the information for the steps and for the materials that you need are going to be with the video. And don't forget to sub subscribe to our channel and like the video. Have a great day, guys. Happy experimenting.